Cancer immunotherapy is a type of tumor treatment that can be used in combination with other strategies. Chemotherapy uses drugs to kill rapidly proliferating cells. Radiotherapy uses high-energy x-rays to kill cancer cells in a specific body area. Cancer immunotherapy uses the body's own immune system to fight cancer. The immune system is a fundamental surveillance mechanism that checks continuously cells in our tissues. As a magnifying glass, it is able to distinguish between normal and modified cells and to kill old cells or damaged ones. The immune system recognizes and removes exogenous cells such as bacteria or viruses. Cancer cells accumulate many mutations in their genome and expose on their plasma membrane different proteins that can be recognized by the immune system. But cancer cells at a certain point are able to escape immune system response. Several different immunotherapy strategies are now being studied and even used as cancer treatments. Non-specific immunotherapies are treatments that do not target cancer cells directly, but stimulate the immune system in a more general way. Those treatments use molecules such as cytokines that mediate communication among immune cells and promote their full activation. Another strategy relies on monoclonal antibodies. Antibodies are produced by the immune system. They travel along the body and recognize specific proteins named antigens. Once the antibody binds the antigen, other components of the immune system are recruited and remove exogenous cells carrying the antigen. Monoclonal antibodies are man-made antibodies engineered to target specifically cancer cells. They can also be modified to carry drugs directly to cancer cells. Once the antibody is internalized, the drug is released and kill the cell. Another possibility consists in removing breaks to the immune system. Some molecules on immune cells need to be turned on in order to start an immune response. But cancer cells are able to block that activation. The binding between PD-1 receptors on the surface of T cells and PD-L1 molecules on cancer cells prevents further activation of T cells. Scientists have developed drugs capable to bind either PD-1 or PD-L1. In this way, the inhibition of T cell response is removed and T cells can be fully activated. Another strategy relies on cancer vaccines. There are two different types of cancer vaccination, vaccines to help prevent cancer and vaccines to help cancer treatment. Some cancers are caused by viruses, as in the case of HPV and HBV. For instance, vaccines against human papillomavirus help in preventing cervical cancers. In the other case, the idea is to stimulate the immune system to attack cancer cells. Cancer vaccination can be done infusing into patients modified cells or tumor antigens or attenuated viruses in order to elicit an immune response. Cancer immunotherapy is the product of our ability to understand how immune system works and interacts with cancer.